The Global Bank, which made its name and built its brand, trading in Hong Kong and Shanghai over 150 years ago. But flash forward to 2015, with mammoth banks under huge pressure, HSBC is looking for new profits back near its roots in fast-growing China. Well, close to its roots. I'm outside of HSBC's main building in Hong Kong, and the buzz here is all about building profits, not necessarily at home in Hong Kong, but across the border in southern China. CEO Stuart Gulliver is now calling HSBC China's international bank. And in its job-cutting strategy statement to investors on Tuesday, Gulliver signaled out the Pearl River Delta in southern China as the new promised land. Even though banks like HSBC have struggled to compete with Goliath government-owned institutions anywhere in China, the Pearl River region may be an easier target. It's close to Hong Kong and it fits well with the central government's plan to integrate the region, an exporting powerhouse with a population of roughly half the United States. And linking the Shenzhen Stock Exchange with Hong Kong's vibrant and world-class bourse. The company is still deliberating whether to move its headquarters back to Hong Kong and says it will decide by the end of this year. A move back of its most senior executives could be seen as a chance to save costs in expensive centers like London. But it could also signal that the bank, as it has long been called in Hong Kong, is serious about staking its future back where it began.